Dear Kailash, dear colleagues and friends, thank you for the invitation to address the laureates and leaders for Children's Summit 2018. Now, this year, it brings together so many stakeholders and experts from around the globe to focus on children on the move. Now, ensuring child well-being is one of the most important aspects of our work. It's vital for the future of our societies, our economies, for our planet. And yet, too many children, especially those on the move, face huge challenges today, such as a high risk of poverty, no or low quality education, forced labor, violence, trafficking, to name just a few. The numbers are sobering. In 2016, over 12 million children around the world were living as refugees or asylum seekers, while an estimated 23 million children were living in internal displacement, 16 million of them as a result of conflict, and 7 million due to natural disasters. Now, the data, of course, uh, is many times incomplete. There are many reporting gaps. So perhaps the true number of children driven from their homes remains unknown and could very well be significantly higher than these estimates. This is why the OECD is working to develop a more holistic approach to protect and support children on the move and to help their families integrate effectively in their new countries, in their new working conditions. For example, the OECD recently launched a call so that we could get together with the uh, UNICEF and the United Nations uh, High Commissioner for the Refugees uh, so that we could have a joint action the, that included, by the way, the International uh, uh, Organization for Migration, uh, Eurostat on the side of statistical collection, so that we could have better data, uh, so that we could understand the patterns of global migration. I have to say the OECD has been uh, gathering evidence. Now I think uh, this year we will publish the 42nd annual edition of the International Migration Outlook. So it's not like we are, you know, coming new to this, but basically what you're having is a, a joint effort by a number of the organizations that have something to do with it so that we could together produce a better outcome. And this concerted effort can help us to design and develop policies focused on supporting vulnerable groups of refugees like children, perhaps the most vulnerable of all the refugees. In addition, the OECD is also designing solutions for the public and the private sectors to protect vulnerable children. For example, the OECD due diligence guidelines, they provide practical orientations so that uh, you know, we can help companies take both a proactive but also a reactive approach to protect children in their own individual company operations, but also in their supply chains. That is, you go upstream and downstream, not just in the core company. Now, last but not least, the OECD remains fully committed to further develop the Child Labor Agenda Initiative in the G20. In this respect, we will double our efforts to stress that strong political leadership and strong political support are absolutely indispensable to improve the lives of all the children worldwide, but particularly the ones on the move, 
the, war, the more vulnerable ones, the ones that we're thinking of and that we're worrying about. On the basis of these efforts and looking ahead, we can certainly say that, you know, we have our work cut out for us. It, we have our hands full. The OECD is proud to stand alongside the Kailish Satyarthi Children's Foundation and to play our part in shaping a better and safer world for children. Now, I sent the best and the brightest of our senior staff, Gabriela Ramos, to represent the OECD. She is among many other things. She's our G7 Sherpa, our G20 Sherpa. Uh, she's my chief of staff and uh, uh, my, my, my counselor, but she's also the leader of the Inclusive Growth Initiative. And first and foremost, she's a very distinguished member of the Kailash Satyarthi fan club, as I am. So I wish you a stimulating and productive meeting and I send you, Kailash, a big hug in our best wishes. Thank you.